It became evident to us that there was a living heritage grant opportunity for our collection. We were able to put together over 20 books, a beautiful painting and the Von Mueller folios. The Von Mueller folios are important to the entire state and the nation really. They're certainly not just important to Ballarat and the Mechanics Institute people. Well, I've been involved with the Mechanics Institute now for about 25 years. The library was very old, just not up to date with new books and so on, because they never threw out anything. They kept it all and uh, came across a lot of very good items, including in that was the Von Mueller collection of um, specimens, which um, were donated to the Institute by Von Mueller uh, when he first published them. The complete three volumes are in our archives here. One of the challenges with this project was the sheer size of it. Three volumes, 220 individual specimens mounted on paper. The specimens are very delicate. Their original mounting mechanism is just thin paper strips with a, with a water-based adhesive. Some are adhered entirely. It required a lot of care and patience to treat each one individually. We noticed a lot of loss. Sometimes there'd be a specimen and part of it is gone. And we would know this because there might be a paper strip, but with no specimen underneath. Or what is very common amongst the volumes is there's a staining and it's actually a really beautiful thing. It's like this shadow of the lost specimen on the paper with incredible detail, like really delicate detail. The aim of this project was to preserve these, this educational set of botanical specimens so that they can be accessed and viewed and enjoyed for years to come. This painting would have been highly desirable in the 1850s Gold Rush era. There was a lot of problems with this painting. The rip in it in multiple directions, 40 tears. 20 old patches on the back of the work. The main thing with this work and what is absolutely so special is the face was intact. That is really key. Everything is in that and the communication of emotion. I use a, almost a pixelated manner in getting those colours to look correct. I'm doing it with a 10 times loop on my head. That's the level of detail that I'm going in at. If a picture has been damaged, generally the frame has had a bit of a rough life too. Historically, this frame would have had a gilded surface and that had been overpainted with bronze paint. The metallic pigments in the bronze had corroded somewhat and it starts going a little bit greenish and greyish. The final surface was a gilt surface and then it was distressed a little bit, toned back with watercolours and dry pigments. We don't want it to look too shiny or brassy and scream at the painting and it's, we have to do that almost when the, the two items are reunited. 